everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and I'm a second year optometry student. Um, you have probably already seen station one and two, so now we're just gonna jump straight into station three. Um, station three was probably the easiest one in my opinion. Um, you get 20 minutes, but honestly, everyone will be finished within like uh, 10 minutes. And it's one of those stations you can honestly just relax and just prepare yourself and all that stuff. All right, so now we are at station three. Um, the chart is gonna be um, one or two lines above the patient's best corrective visual acuity. Um, so, and it's gonna be a single line. And the patient was reading 2015, so I put the chart at 2025. Um, okay, so now we're gonna start. Um, I'm always gonna include one eye while I do this because I don't want the patient to get like a headache from doing this. Okay, so we're gonna do six space down on the right eye and Please on the left side. Okay. All right, Mrs. Lee, I'm gonna do another test, and this time I'm gonna to check to see how your eyes are aligned. Um, once I unocclude you, just let me know if you see one chart to the top right and one to the bottom left. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna slowly move the chart on the bottom. Let me know where it is compared to the top, where, whether it's to the left right under or to the right. Our goal is to have them line up like buttons on a shirt so right on top of each other. Okay, left, 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 left. They're aligned. Right here? Mm -hmm. So patient? All right, and once you record that, um, we're gonna do base in versions and base out so right now you should see the chart right in front of you correct mm -hmm. okay let me know when they blur break into two or come back as one but it's okay if they don't blur okay break break right there mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna go past that they're one okay so usually I would memorize the break number and the blur, and I would leave this here so I can go record it and then run back because I don't have to memorize too many numbers. All right, Miss Lee, I'm gonna do this one more time. Let me know when they become blurry, break into two, and come back as one. Okay. okay. Did you see it blur? Mm -mm. Okay. Let me know when I come back as one. Okay. This one. Okay. okay, and that's all we have to do for distance. So now I'm going to put this chart. Okay. All right, are you able to see that? Yes. Okay. Can you go ahead and read the little sign for me, please? T P E O L F D B. Got it. And can you read the little sign for me, please? T P E O L F D B. Got it. And can you read it one more time backwards? C D F L O E P T. Alright. What does that say? Keep words clear. Alright, you're gonna keep those words clear. And then we're going to do the exact same, the same thing that we did earlier. Okay. So, um, when I unocclude you, you should see two charts, one on the top right and one on the bottom. Is that correct? Mm hmm Okay. And uh, we're going to do the exact same thing. Let me know where it is compared to the top, whether it's to the left, middle, or to the right. Our goal is to have them line up like buttons on a shirt. Okay. Left. 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 Oh, they're lying. Okay. That's ortho. And now I'm going to stimulate one diopter. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Let me know where uh, the bottom is compared to the top one, okay? Okay. Left. 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 Left, 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 
Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So AC ratio is going to be 6 to 1. Okay, so now we're going to okay. take out the one diopter I just put in. Okay, now I should see one chart on the top right and one on the bottom left, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm going to be moving the chart on the right. Let me know when they line up right next to each other, like headlights on a car. Okay. Right here? Mm -hmm. That's going to be one person to after um, hyperphoria. Alright, and so now I'm just going to have you let me know whether you see um, blur, break, or back into one. And now we're going to do it again. Any blur? No. Any break? No. Oh, break. Okay, and let me know what it comes back into. One. It's one. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do NRA. Go ahead and fixate at keep words clear. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna change the lenses. Mm -hmm. Let me know when they become so blurry you cannot make out the letters anymore. Okay. Uh, it's playing now. And we're gonna go to the opposite side to do PRA. Let me know when um, they're blurry and you cannot make it out anymore after trying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes patient will keep going for this. In our year, we were able to stop after three and a half diopters, and we just put greater than 3.5, um, because people can sometimes go up to like seven, and nobody has time to keep doing this. So I'm gonna stop right there, and that concludes the end of station three. Hey guys, that was the end of station three. I hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, and maybe it would. Again, maybe it's a good refresher on how to do things and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we are now moving on to station four. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos. <laughs> and yeah. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.